The new BMW IBU World Cup season kicked off where it all was decided last winter. In Contilacti, familiar faces, even if hidden behind masks, were challenged by new ones for a superb start of the biathlon season. Comes the first competition and we immediately witnessed a major surprise. 23-year-old Sturla Holm Lagreid shot the perfect 20 out of 20 in the men's individual to take the win, the yellow and the season's novelty blue bib for the best under-25 athlete of the field. Yeah. Hey. That at his only fifth ever World Cup competition. I didn't think at all that I would have a chance at winning today, so it was so sick to hear my trainer and coach uh, saying I'm in the lead when I was going the track, so it was unbelievable. But throughout the two weeks in Finland, he was not the only young face to make some noise. Karolina Knotten found her maiden podium, while Zinara Alimbekova scored four consecutive top ten finishes, spicing up the fight for the women blue bib from the very beginning. Family affairs dominated the start of the second week. Tariebe finally found a way to step on the podium ahead of his younger brother after five times. Johannes Dignes, however, was the most consistent in the field and left North Karelia looking very comfortable in his leading seat. On the Urbergs family, Elvira showed the ski speed that was a threat to everyone and seized a first ever podium, sharing it with her older sister, Hannah. For me, it's no surprise that she is this strong because we train together every day. And um, I mean, we can really push each other to become even better. And of course, I still want to be the best in the family. <laughs> and it worked out perfectly because the 25 year old looked as confident as ever, taking two sprint wins, a third place in the pursuit, and a solid lead in the overall rankings. It was not only about the Urberg sisters in the Swedish team. Johanna Skottheim, Mona Brorschen and Lin Persson all found at least one top 10 finish before capturing a relay success that was missing for Sweden for 10 years. Men also left a mark, with Martin Ponsiruoma returning to the podium and Sebastian Samuelsson even claiming his first ever individual victory in Saturday's pursuit. I don't know what to say, I, I feel... Uh... Just so happy, I mean, this is something I dreamt of since I was a little boy. Following the very Swedish Saturday, Norway dominated the final Sunday with a comprehensive men relay victory, while Thierry Lekov shot the perfect 20 out of 20 in the pursuit to claim victory and send the message that in Ockfilsen she will be greedy for more. With the tour travelling to Austria, will the likes of Dorothea Wierer and Kantan Fiomaye find the ski form that has been missing for them so far and get back in the fight for the overall? We are just a few days short for new answers. I know it's sad that you can't be here with us and cheer for us uh, on the venue, but I know that you do it at home in front of the television. And I want you to take a photo or a video of it and post it on social media using the hashtag BiathlonUnited. Wake up, wake up, it's Biathlon, it's Biathlon time! It's Biathlon time? Yeah! Hey! <laughs>